when you learned how to do systems of equations in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 or both, you probably saw questions like this. And the key with this kind of question is you want to recognize the pattern, recognize that it's this kind of question so that you have to use this kind of approach. And what you need to recognize in this kind of question is you're going to have like two things, in this case, easy, easy and hard puzzles. Those two things will have two different values. So maybe a monetary value, they'll each have a cost or a value, price value, or in this case, points value. Or maybe in another case, it'll be something like tables that have a capacity of like four people and two people, whatever the case may be. But you're going to have two things with two values, and they want to find some thing like how many of the easy puzzles, or in this case, how many of the hard puzzles there are, or something like that. And when you see this problem type, you know you have to set up two equations and two unknowns. So let's see how we're going to do that here. In a certain game, a player can solve easy or hard puzzles. A player earns 30 points for solving an easy puzzle and 60 points for solving a hard puzzle. Tina solved a total of 50 puzzles playing this game, earning 1950 points in all. How many hard puzzles did Tina solve? So let's set up our equations here. Let's let x equal the easy puzzles. And we'll let y equal the hard puzzles. So we're defining our variables here. In these kinds of questions, you're going to set your x and your y equal to the two different things. In this case, easy or hard puzzles. Maybe on another question, it'll be like small cakes and big cakes. Or maybe it'll be um, red cars and blue cars. Whatever it might be, you want to set your two things equal to x and y. And now we start setting up equations. So the first equation we can set up is pretty straightforward. Tina solves 50 puzzles. That means when we add up x and y, that should add up to 50. So there's our first equation. But of course, x and y could be anything here. It could be 25 and 25, 24 and 26. I mean, who knows? So we need another equation so that we can focus and narrow down the answer. So what's the other equation? And now this is where we bring in the value. So the, the easy puzzle is 30 points. And the hard puzzle is 60 points, and she earns 1,950 points in all. So what we do now is we take the number of easy puzzles, and we multiply it by its value, in this case 30, right? So she, if she completes x easy puzzles, is going to earn 30x points from those puzzles. And similarly, if she's earning 60 points for a hard puzzle, it'll be 60 times y. And the total number of points she earns is... 1950. So once we have the equations set up, now we just have to do systems of equations, excuse me, as we did on a previous question, as we discussed. And again, I like elimination, so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to get rid of one of these variables. Let me get rid of the x, because that's an easy one to do. So to do that, I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 30. So that's going to be negative 30x plus negative 30y equals negative 1500. Don't forget to multiply by by that number as well. And my other equation is 30x plus 60y equals 1950. So as you can see, I multiply by negative 30 so that when I add these two equations, my x's cancel, I get 30y equals, and this becomes uh, 450. Cancel out a zero here, divide by 10. Now we'll divide both sides by three. So I get y is 15. So now be careful here that we give them what we what they want. They want the hard puzzles. We defined y as the hard puzzles, so we got what we need. So the answer should be 15, and indeed it is. That's your answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.